All right, we're back with AWS Deep Composer. In the previous video, I showed you the keyboard itself. Now let's talk about the service. Uh, you should go to aws.amazon.com slash deepcomposer. And this is where you can sign up for the preview and get notified when the keyboard becomes available. Once you're ac accepted in the preview, you can open the console and uh, and see the screen so uh, let's compose music let's dive straight into the subject so we see here a virtual keyboard so you don't have to uh, to have a physical keyboard to play um, just make sure you've enabled hotkeys uh, in the settings here because this would let you actually use the your uh, uh, computer keyboard to play right and you can play uh, you can play uh, multiple multiple notes. Uh, you won't be able to do that if uh, hotkeys are not enabled. And of course, if you have a physical keyboard plugged in like me, okay, well, uh, you can play as well. And this doesn't require any setup. I just plugged the the, uh, the keyboard in and it worked out of the box. So that's pretty cool. Um, we also have a bunch of uh, songs to get you started. So let's uh, check this one out. Okay, so pre-recorded songs that you can use to uh, generate music. So to actually generate uh, music, you need models. So if you go to models here, you can create models, meaning uh, you can use pre-trained models. And these are the ones that we have right now, jazz, pop, rock, classical, and uh, Jonathan Colton model. Uh, Jonathan Carlton is a musician who contributed to the Deep Composer project. Um, so uh, you would just grab this one. So maybe let's grab pop and give it a name. Create it. And I'll talk about training your own model in, uh, in a future video. This is a much more advanced project. I, I just want to give you an overview here. So okay, we have models and I've already added the other ones. Okay, so now we have models and let's try to generate music. Uh, so we'll uh, select the Ode to Joy again and uh, use the pop model. So just click on Generate Composition. And in a few seconds, um, this uh, generative model adds extra uh, uh, instruments to the, uh, to the song. So I believe they're called accompaniments, which I'm not sure I'm pronouncing right, and that sounds like a weird word, so I'm just going to say instruments. Um, so let's, uh, and you can see it's uh, it's picking actual instruments for you automatically, and you can you can actually try different ones. So let's try this uh, this version first. 